Hey, my dear son of Ham, daughter of Ham, I decided I would just go ahead while the going is good to um, just communicate with you right now, okay? So this here is an AKS-7, really an AK-47, and it, this is legal, okay? This is my right under the Constitution of the United States, the Second Amendment, to bear arms. Okay, all citizens, landowners, property owners, those who have the franchise, the right to vote, have the right to form a well-armed militia to protect democracy and to protect the people from the tyranny of the government. You know how you have tyranny in the banana republics? You know how the police just break down your house, kick you, kill you, uh, with impunity. You see, just because it's another Hamite killing you don't make it right. So you cannot complain about Europeans and then say it's okay for the Nigerian government, it's okay for the Kenyan government to commit genocide against its people or the um, South Africans or the, the, the Namibians or even the Angolans or the Mozambicans. It doesn't matter where you are. Or the Dominicans or the Jamaicans or the Trinidadians or the Guyanese. So let me say this, this here gun is the civilian version, it is an assault rifle. Um, these people try to tell you that the reason why they want guns is to hunt. But in my little small and narrow mind and in my thinking, I went to school on it and I thought about it. So I said to myself, you know, that doesn't make sense. So I looked at the way way back and they had muskets and they would pour powder they would put a little cannonball in it and what did they use it for to kill people to fight to wage war so i realized all guns are weapons of war weapons of destruction okay why do people need guns because if one side has guns and the other side don't they're going to victimize you they're going to brutalize you they're going to exterminate you it happened in germany it has happened in the united states it happened in the colonies um, it happened in south america the spanish came and slaughtered entire civilizations a whole continent of people uh, with the help of the arabs who put into slavery and brought to the new world. And we came to the new world. We got a presence in the United States. We have about 40 million of us here. We're a significant minority and we're still fighting for our rights to be right. So the reason why I'm showing you this gun is that a lot of people have called our church since the killing of George Floyd. And this is a folding stock, AK-47, okay? So you fold it this way. And then you can shoot it that way just with your hands and hold it at your hip okay and it's semi-automatic so every time you pull the trigger you'll load another bullet in and then um and sometimes you really want to use a semi-automatic because when you do a fully automatic you just spray and pray you hope that it hits something but with a semi with a semi-automatic you're going to take time to aim and you just fire one bullet with one squeeze of the trigger. So here's what I want to show you also. And you must teach this to your husbands. You must teach this to your sons. You must teach this to your daughters. Okay. Um, your daughters cannot run around saying I'm scared because they're going to rip them when they come. They're going to kill the men, rip the women, kill your parents. So you have to teach everybody. It is our right as human beings. We have a right to protect our life, even if the threat comes from a family member, even if the threat comes from a neighbor, even if the threat comes from another Hamite. The truth is, in this world, the world is rough, okay? It is still kind of the survival of the fittest. Now, what makes America, the United States so great? And believe me, we love the United States. I, for one, would, would not ever give up on the United States of America. And I've had dreams waking up in Dominica and that I had this firearm and the police was coming to beat the hell out of me. Okay? 
In the United States of America, the police cannot come beat you because you own a rifle. That's not within their rights. So I know they can violate that, and we see them killing people on television every day. But it is not the police that I'm worried about. I am worried about those people that run the corporations. You know, you go look at Netflix and all the, the, the executive are all Europeans. Maybe they got one Asian on there. Um, I'm worried about all these corporations that don't give us jobs. I'm worried about all these universities we have that are underfunded. I'm worried about, do we even have a hospital? We maybe have one, uh, Howard University Hospital, okay? These are the things that I concern myself with. Not really guns. This is just for show and tell, okay? To make you think I'm some badass gangster or revolutionary. I'm not. As a matter of fact, when I shoot the damn weapon, it scares me. You know, it's so damn loud. I don't even want to hear it. You understand? But you got to have it. You never know. You just never know. But I don't like shooting it because after you shoot it, you got to clean it. And that's tedious. So anyway. So this is what you call the clip, right? So this is how you feed the gun with bullets, okay? So one of the things you have to learn, and you see, I was never formally taught any of this stuff. I uh, taught myself by doing. That's the kind of person I am. And you see, experience is the best teacher, only a fool in my experience. One time this guy took me out to shoot a high-powered rifle and I was in my youth and I rest my head on the damn uh, scope and that thing recoiled and I had a headache for at least two weeks. That's what experience will teach you. So this is how you load the clip, okay? You would um, slide the bullets in like so, okay? And like so, okay? And like so. I think this is a 30 round clip, okay? So it's a 30 round clip and I try to keep three at the ready at any time in case our household comes under attack by the racist elements coming to commit acts of genocide against us. This is to protect against genocide. The program, okay? If you're a Jewish person, you understand what it means, the program. So, um, ah, I don't normally smoke, but what's the heck? Uh, let's have a smoke and a drink to life, to prosperity, to liberty, to freedom, and to God bless the United States of America like no other place in the world. And sometimes we always say, God bless the USA and nowhere else. And people get mad when we say that. So, okay. So now, you have your clip. And you have your gun. So what you'd normally do, if you have it on safety, right? This is safe. As you can see, okay, no, this is fire. Wait, what the hell is going on? This is safe. It shouldn't crank. Oh my God, something is wrong. Well, maybe safety works when it has a clip in. So, we will, we will put the clip in. Okay, now it won't go in. So we put it on fire. Wait, you see? It goes, it went in now, you see that? Okay, you put it on fire, you put the clip in, you put it on safety, it doesn't load, it doesn't load, okay? Even though it goes all the way back, you, you see it goes all the way back, there is no bullet, it's not loading the bullet. So now I'll put it on fire, and let's hope it doesn't go off, because that's how people fuck themselves or kill themselves or kill their, their, their friends while playing with a gun but i'm not playing this is an instructional video to the sons and daughters of ham um letting you know you have the right to bear arms uh your families should be armed to protect yourself from genocide and from the program okay it's not about the police the police are there to serve and to keep society in a certain way 
It's our fellow citizens who are out to get us. Many of them are armed to the T. They belong to militias, to hate groups, to white supremacist groups. They call them white, but I don't call them white. I call them Europeans. The same way I tell them do not call me black, they must call me a Hamite, a son of Ham. Okay, so sons, daughters and sons of Ham. So much for showing off with my cigarette. Mm. Okay, my dear sisters and brothers, sons and daughters, mothers and fathers. So now this is on fire, right? So I'm going to, to show you, you would do this. Now it has loaded a bullet in the chamber. For the sake of safety, I'm going to remove the clip. Because if the gun were to discharge and I have it facing the ceiling, if it were to discharge, it would keep on loading a bullet, okay? So what I'm going to show you now, you're gonna see that bullet pop out. So now there's one bullet in the chamber. So if I wanted to, I could shoot the computer. I could shoot the camera. Or do you think I'm pointing it at you? No, because I will never come at you with a gun. Nor will my soldiers, nor will my operatives, we are men and women of the pen. We will serve you with paper. And we got another round of paper coming. A lot of paper. That's why I bought extra ink. Okay, I got extra ink. I got extra ink. And I got a big stack of paper back there. Now, I'm not going to get uh, lost so that I end up firing this bullet and you're gonna laugh at me because you're an idiot yourself so what I'm going to show you is oh wow you see I never really observed this when it's loaded okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the bullet out okay okay so here's the bullet it fell and as you can see I'm going to pull the trigger there's no bullet in there <laughs> God bless the United States of America God bless the tribe of Ham God bless the Hamite people Aluta Continua Aluta Continua the struggle continues until victory. Forever remain vigilant. Forever remain conscious. Forever remain prepared for the inevitable. The only thing we know in this life is that the departure is inevitable. How it comes, we don't know. But when it comes in the form of a program, when it comes in the form of genocide, we must be ready and prepared to protect our lives, to protect our families, and to protect the tribe. God bless you. Bobinos Babiskum. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have peace upon us. God bless the United States of America and will forever continue to work towards a more perfect union. I want to say I'll be right back after I have some comidad, something to eat. I'm going to make a hamburger in honor of Independence Day. You know, all of you think all we cook in the United States is French fries and hamburgers. But actually we got the best food, the best meats, the best chicken, the best fish. Everything is made for the United States. They included all the good drugs in the world. Most of the cocaine, we have it. It comes right here. The best marijuana comes right here. The best prostitutes are right here. They get pap smears. In the foreign countries, they don't see a doctor. They don't get pap smears. They don't get an AIDS test. 
a COVID-19 test. If you want a good prostitute, call your Pope. I'll send you a holy hoe, a holy hoe.